Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new, if you it's your first time here, hello. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and today I am going to be my own client because I needed to refresh my office. I was in the mood. I was like, yes, let's do this. Oh, there's my Roomba, the star of the show. I'm just kidding, she's not the star of the show, but I love my Roomba. Anyway, here is my office. I have three things that I do in here and it has to be a multi-purpose triple threat space. So I have this amazing alpha freestanding desk where I live stream. I do all my editing for the main channel and I also use this space as a practice studio, as a rehearsal room, a practice room, because I am also a professional classical singer. <sighs> I'm tired just saying that, but it is just the reality of my life and I can't complain. Uh, my life is pretty cool. Anyway, I was just getting overwhelmed by all of the things on the desk. I have capture cards, I've got um, tripods, I've got multiple iPads and computer things. I've got game stuff. I've got um, Nintendo Animal Crossing amiibo cards. I actually have a huge amiibo con collection. I'm trying to collect them all like Pokemon, but um, I have a lot of them and I keep them in, in these little binders. Are they not adorable? I love amiibo cards. They're very fun. Anyway, I have old school Nintendo because sometimes I like to stream old Nintendo and I just got a gaming computer. Look how small and cute it is. It's got an ugly art or logo on it. So I'm gonna cover it with stickers. So I'm looking for stickers, cute stickers to cover it with, but look at all the stuff. Look at all the stuff on the desk. I hate it. I've got two keyboards because I got two computers because my Mac is my like workhorse, but my PC is my gaming fun computer. Okay, so here's my closet, which also has the alpha shelving system and I happen to have a gliding shelf in there. I was, I thought I was gonna like fold on it, but look, I never do. I never fold on it. So in the meantime, I went downstairs to get some extra alpha hardware and maybe a piece of fascia to put on the front to make it look like a fancy wooden shelf, even though it's a metal shelf. Ooh, basement windows, fake windows, still looking good. Which ones are the fake ones and which ones are the real ones? We'll never know. <laughs> anyway, I happened to take apart my closet to get that gliding shelf and had to put it back. Um, taking a apart these alpha closets is super easy and super annoying at the same time because if like anything that glides is attached to a bracket, like the gliding, the channel that the gliding thing is on, you can't just remove it from the brackets. You have to like hammer it, mallet it out to get the brackets off. Um, I remember when I was working at the container store, they suggested that I use a, a, a flathead screwdriver to do that and that never worked. So the whole uh, mallet method works 100% of the time. I don't know why they trained us to do that, but that's what I told clients after a while is you gotta use a mallet. Anyway, um, doing this was a pain in the butt, made me hot, but look at the Roomba coming in to save the day. I never vacuum in here. So I was glad she came in and uh, I was glad to put my closet back together. Now, I will be doing I, I, I'm becoming my own client again this season. I will be doing a massive declutter of this closet in the near future, maybe in a couple of months. I would like to just have less makeup especially. I don't need all that makeup. I am a former beauty addict. I'm telling you right now, I was influenced by the 2016, 2017 beauty guru environment and I have a lot more than I use. So makeup declutter coming soon check your local listings. Anyway, I decided that instead of one big drawer on the top of my desk, I think I would really benefit from having two more shallow drawers. So this was something I was focused on doing and it actually turned out really well. I think having shallow drawers in your office is such a good idea <laughs> um, because in your office you have a lot of tinier things, you know? And I always like to recommend that you keep containers to relative to the size of things you store inside. Easy. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Hello, this is the first time I've talked with you. I just finished doing that stuff in the closet. The room is a mess. But I think the only way I'm gonna succeed here is if I take everything off the desk, um, probably including the monitors and everything, give it a good scrub. I think I can turn the shelf the other way so that the the layout is a little different and maybe that'll help me. Um, but I'm definitely gonna need to take a break and I just turn on the air conditioning because it is hot 
is very hot. So, um, yeah, let me get a plan together and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll meet you on the other side. One of the things I recommend to people when I'm working with them on these sort of big organizing projects and big sort of improvement projects is that if you need to take a break or you feel like you need to stop for a little bit, don't feel bad about that. Don't feel pressure to keep pushing if you really need to take a break and to do projects in stages. I really wanted to do this entire office in one day, but I filmed this over probably I'll give the exact dates when I edit this video, but I remember it was at least a month that I worked on these projects. And I really think that that is a generous amount of time to get a project done. And I, I definitely will refresh this office again in the next few months, maybe even again, because I'm getting, to be honest, I'm getting a little tired of so much baby pink in here. And I may just, you know, transition to a more neutral office look an office color because I do like the birch and the the woody tones and the greens uh, but I may cut back a little bit on the pink just to be honest because you know things changed so here I was deciding to insert another shelf where all of my um, PC well my where my PC was my Mac studio which is a wonderful computer by the way and I think that I decided to put all of my consoles down there too because I just it was getting so crowded on the surface of the desk and it was starting to stress me out. <laughs> so I moved everything to the bottom. I was considering, I was like, can I put my gaming computer down here on my gaming PC? And no, it was just too tall. So I put my all my Nintendo Switch, one Nintendo Switch dock, my computer. I moved my computer down, I think in the future, and I put my Wii U next to one another, all my consoles next to one another, and it just made sense. The only thing that was a pain is doing cord control. I really, I had to unplug everything, and there were so many cords, because I, I just have so many things. There's three Nintendo consoles. There's a gaming PC. <laughs> There's an actual PC, two monitors, a camera, lights, uh, a stream deck, <laughs> and possibly some other things that are plugged into my entire system. So cord control turned out to be really, really, really challenging, like un, sort of undoing and everything, everything. But I got some efficient cords figured out and it is a little messy back there, but the good thing about it is you no longer can see it. So it's a lot better and everything is off the floor. So when the Roomba comes in my office, it can vacuum under my desk. Cause don't get me, it can be so frustrated. It, I can, it can and, and it, it doesn't hit any cords. It's magic. These cords, it's gonna take me a long time. I don't think you need to watch me do this. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, that took so long, but I think everything is ready to be powered on. It looks different, but it's better because there's not like a lot going on across there. There's just the gaming computer, which you can't even see, and like my headphones, which I'm not sure I'm gonna leave there because they were over there, but now they're over here. I don't know, because now I can't reach them from the seat, which seems kind of pointless. But maybe I will leave the plug there and I'll just move the headphone thing over. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I just like the way it looks a little more clean up there. Okay, so plan's still there, but all my consoles except for that uh, switch is has have been moved next to one another down here. So the Wii can now sit up, or the Wii U can now sit up like that. Their switch is here, the GameCube is here, and if I need to, it comes out a little bit. Now, I don't think I'm ever gonna need to do this, so I don't know what the point was in doing that, but it's fun. Oh my gosh, I need a bracket cover for this one. I'll go downstairs and get a bracket cover. Oh, I need two bracket covers, look at that, naked brackets. All right, and then I have everything plugged in down here, and I have a bunch of like excess cord inside this cable box, and here are all the cables for the console. So this is my gaming computer. It, they're all labeled with this, uh, label. <laughs> these cord labels, I love these. It says game PC. And then I have this one that says, should say 
GameCube. And this one says Wii U. Now the one that's already in, the one that's already in my capture card is my Nintendo Switch. That's so kind of default. But I got everything plugged into this um, power strip and I'm shocked that I did. Now I have these little USB ports for when I have to plug in the keyboard or the trackpad and I finally have a place to have those cords. <laughs> now I need better drawer organizers because this is a little bit not the best but I now have my cords and stuff if I need to plug in my keyboard or the trackpad um, and I have a USB-C to USB-C here in case I need to plug in um, my iPad so and my, you know my lotion look I have Doraemon lotion isn't that cute hand lotion I haven't opened it yet it's from it's brand new but um isn't that cute the little Doraemon hand cream in the meantime I'm using the, the good old Whole Foods hand cream which is actually pretty good um, and then I have my pens here for my calendar, my glasses, uh, donut cloth, so I use to clean my glasses, <laughs> and then my old Apple Pencil. I'm actually surprised I haven't lost any parts of this. This is first generation Apple Pencil. And then um, some lip balms and stuff. Some uh, cup holder or cup holder. These aren't cup holders. These are, what are these? What are these called? I'm losing my mind. Coasters. Oh my gosh. I have two, I have several coasters. This one's really cute. Look at it. Have a sip with me. Anyway, I bought it from Etsy. I thought it was pretty, pretty cute. Got my mouse here for my laptop and some other like uh, switch stuff. And here I have my laptop hanging out with the cord in that drawer. So that is fun. And then this one still is game stuff with all of my Amiibo cards and stuff for my switch. So... I'm going to power everything on and see how she runs. I'm very excited. I spent a long time doing this. I don't think the cord control is literally much better, but you can't see as much of the nonsense. And that is a good thing. <laughs> okay, it's a few days later. My desk is looking really good, actually. I really like the way that it turned out. And my under desk keyboard shelf has arrived from Amazon and I'm gonna build it and install it there hoping it will fit and uh, yeah we're gonna make this even cozier for the life of me I don't know why I waited so long to make this purchase this was in my Amazon cart for over two weeks it was actually in and out of my Amazon cart do you know do y'all do, do that let me know I like take I put things in and then I like double think it and I take it out and then I put it back in and then I take it out. It's it's a very careful consideration. And I do believe this was expensive for what it is, I think, but it's perfect and it's what I needed it to be. It's not a permanent commitment because I really can't drill into the desk surface because it is a shelf and it is like a honeycomb interior and drilling into it just really isn't an option. But since I do have this gaming computer now that I use to play PC games because I'm, I'm a Mac girly and not everybody makes their versions of games for Mac right away, not bitter about it. But so I have this PC that I need to use for PC games um, and I have a keyboard that's attached to it because I can't really use one keyboard for two computers, it's complicated. Anyway, and this solved all my problems. I am obsessed. It looks so much better and it's so easy. Yay! All right, let's pull it out. Oh, oh. That's not, it's not smooth. <laughs> it might need a little WD-40, but okay. That's so cool. A little pull out keyboard. Oh, that's nice. All right, so I can put one down here and one, let's see if the big one fits down here. Let's see. Like not really fit. Oh my gosh, it barely slides under there. Oh, wow. Wow, it barely slides under there. So I can either have one down here and one up here, or I could just do a swap -a whenever I feel like it, you know, like I can, oh, you know what, that's not bad. Wow. And I've got room for the trackpad as well. 
Nice. Oh, this is this is nice. Don't know how it's gonna be with my chair. Well, it's a little bit of room still. I don't know why I hesitated on this purchase. Just probably because it was just so expensive, but I mean it was like I think it was seventy dollars. But it's worth it. It's well made. I didn't have to install anything because I can't really drill into this shelf. But, and it almost matches the color. It's very close and you can't really tell. So like a really small profile. My gosh, that's so exciting. Okay, it is, I haven't really been saying the dates, but it's September 22nd. It's actually Clover's birthday. Happy birthday, Clover. Um, I have my pumpkin spice salted caramel, not a latte, but like a cappuccino. All of the foam has just gone. So, but it's still really good. One of my biggest things I need to accomplish today is to declutter this closet. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like crap. I will insert some close-ups of this space, but it's become really disorganized in the last, I guess, year. I've got wigs in here. I've got like old pack. I just need to deal with this. And the adapter's drawer is insane. And I just need to fix it up. So today I'm gonna work on that and hopefully inspire you to clean out one of your closets if your closet got wild like my closet. Most of the stuff in here that I'm definitely keeping, I just need to like organize it a little better. We may do a little bit of decluttering, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's get to work. This drawer is not so bad actually. I don't think well, the microphone drawer is not so bad actually. Yeah, the microphone drawer is fine. This is the craft drawer. There's, this doesn't belong, but that's fine. And this is just my Cricut and that's actually crafts. I can't even open it because I have that thing there. I'm, uh, is that where my, I was missing one pair of these scissors. I don't know if those are them. And then this is the Cricut. This is fine, but I really have to clean this out. It looks like what it, what? Is happening here I think I know I mean I know what happened I took a box out and I used it for something else so. oh boy I found this travel charger but travel charger for what what is this for I feel like this must might be for like a Nintendo thing. I'm not sure. Travel charger for what? I'm going to look up the model number <laughs> on this. This might not have anything to do with this cable actually. Um, there's a model number. I'm, I'm going to look that up. Okay, that helped. Now I know what this is for. It's for the skylight frame, which is in there. I just didn't put it with this, maybe it is with the skylight frame and I just didn't get very far, but like if you are ever having trouble, if you need to identify a, a cape, like what it is, there's a lot of information on power supplies. And I just Googled that very small, where is it? It's like super small, this very small like model number. And it, it told me that this belongs to the skylight frame. And now that it said that I do recognize that. So I wonder where the skylight frame is. I found the skylight frame. I want to say it's not out because there was an issue with the AC adapter. Let me check. Okay, yeah, I think this was recalled and I need to get a new adapter for Skylight Frame. That's why it wasn't plugged in. I never like um, took care of that. By the way, if you don't know what it is, Skylight Frame is really cool. It's like you can, oh, you can see yourselves. Hello. You can like have a photos just cycle in here and it's like a digital photo frame it's really cool um but i do remember getting the email about this so i think i need to get it replaced okay well i will put that aside and take care of that i'm excited i found some stickers i'm gonna put these on my pc i got a plant sticker plant lady sticker and one from my friend pat from the talk this was the las vegas island sticker i'm gonna put this on my pc i'm so excited i was looking for stickers yay <laughs> Confession 
time I did save this box from YouTube for my creator award. I don't think I'm gonna save it. I will save the little letter that came with it. Isn't that cute? Um, but I think I'm gonna let the box go because like honestly, what am I gonna do with the actual box? I mean, it's cool that I got a box from YouTube, but like, let's be real. Do I need this? No. Even though I help people declutter for a living and I really encourage people not to keep things that are just sentimental but are kind of not useful and causing you a little bit of stress, I, I you know, go through a lot of the same things that my clients go through. I am a human being, believe it or not, not a robot, not an android. I am a human. And sometimes I get caught up a little bit too. I When I got that box from YouTube, I was so excited and I was like, I can't possibly throw away this box. And I put it in the closet for a couple of weeks. And then I was like, okay, what you doing though? What you doing, girl? I'm just gonna take these to my closet. What are they doing in here? I don't know. Why I thought I could store wigs in my office closet, I will never know. When am I going to grab a wig if it's not in my bedroom or in my bathroom or wherever I'm getting dressed? I don't know. Not everything that I do makes perfect sense. Again, human, flawed, you know, not the perfectest perfect being ever, but I am capable of solving some problems, you know? Anyway, the great cord debacle or cable debacle, since I have a lot of technology and do streaming and have a lot of content creation stuff, I have a little collection of cables that I use from time to time. They're like charging cables, cables to connect devices to other devices, adapters. It's a whole mess. and. Every now and again, I need to declutter and corral them. And this was actually very fun. <laughs> this was very fun. Clover James was there to observe and smell all the cords. He loved hanging out, <laughs> but I, there he is. He's so cute. <laughs> anyway, that drawer where all my adapters and cords were was just ridiculous. I have a little accessory box full of HDMI cables and you would be surprised, I'm actually surprised, about how often I have grabbed an HDMI cable from this box periodically. My husband has borrowed HDMI cables from me. We are a, a very cable friendly family, um, but I always like to keep good HDMI cables because you never know if your HDMI cable is going to go out. And that is a big problem on a day I have to stream or something. So. I was very glad to have the extra HDMI cables and all that stuff. So uh, my main goal was to get all of my cables and adapters under control. I did, it was so fun. And I found some stickers, I think, in this closet to put on my PC. I, I just, I need more cute stickers. I think I just might go on Etsy and like buy some stickers. That might be the move. Okay, just one more space to, to clean up a little bit, the plant area. The ground is not looking very neat because the drawer, the drawers are a little messy. I'll open the other one too if I can get it open. It's just like a little bit out of control. I also need to vacuum here because there's a bunch of like dirt and soil and stuff. So I'm gonna clean up and I think that'll be it. Like I have pots here and everything. I'm gonna take some extra pots downstairs cause they don't need to all hang out here. So I have like a gardening space down there. Yeah, let me do that. My little plant drawers are kind of a disaster, but we cleaned them up. I had so many extra pots after I unpotted a bunch of baby plants. I, you know, I clone my plants every now and again when I get bored, you know, and I had so many of those little babies. I had baby pothos, baby philodendron, baby monstera, and uh, so many of those pots just went into that drawer and it was just a mess. So I, well, I have a living wall now. If you didn't see my last video, I have a living wall. It's beautiful, but I just needed to, to neat it up a little bit and it was good. All right, I'm gonna work on this for a little bit and I'll see you when I'm done. My last task was to deal with this cover on my sofa. It's actually blue. I bought these upholstery, uh, upholstery pins, twist pins from the hardware store. I thought maybe I would just tighten up the cover. It's not a slip cover. It's literally a blanket that I bought from Amazon for I think pretty cheap actually. It might've been like 20 bucks because it's a pretty big blanket. And I just wanted to tighten it up to look like a slipcover because I've had a quote made for a slipcover 
that would fit this sofa and the quote I got back was incredibly expensive so I just think this is fine for now I I have a confession I I don't think I like the way that it looks when it's all tightened up I kind of like the way it looked earlier I may fix it back anyway here is my completed office the desk is so much better the desk was the biggest change I think like there's so much more space to just put items or whatever. And I love that all the consoles to are together. The computer is by itself. The drawers are chef's kiss. I love the way it all came together. It's so organized. Look, I found some stickers and put them on my gaming PC. I gotta cover that skull. It's so ugly, I hate it. Um, and this extra keyboard shelf, again, chef's kiss. So perfect for when I'm playing Fate Farm and Palea and all those games. Anyway, I love, love, love the way it came together. It tidied up. I do think I'm gonna do some more upgrades as the season goes along. The plant drawers are a lot neater. Oh my gosh, there's water in one of those <laughs> bottles. I didn't even notice. Those are bottles that I usually clone plants in. I should take that water out. Anyway, a little scene of my Hoya Crimson Queen, isn't she beautiful? She's my favorite, oh my gosh. Anyway, this shelf, of course, didn't really get any tweaks because I tweaked it, I think, four videos ago, if you didn't see that one. I put all my Singer stuff in one basket. That is all like my humidifier, my uh, singing masks, which I don't wanna use anymore, I'll tell you that. Anyway, this is the closet after. I think it's so much better. I can see things. I've got all my documents in one place. And let's take a look at how those drawers turned out, all my like adapter drawers. Oh, I have my weights in here now. I have them in a big basket before. There was no reason for that. <gasps> so much better, so much better. Look at those drawers, oh my gosh. I was so happy with this. Yes, I have a lot of electronics. It's just a thing. I have a content creator. I have content creator stuff. So I need a place for it all to go. There, my craft drawer looks pretty good. My Cricut drawer looks pretty good. <laughs> and the rest of the drawers look pretty good too. That was the one for the like, craft and the more craft supplies. I do like to make something every now and again. So I hope you all enjoyed this organize my office with me video. And if you need inspiration to get your own office together, put this video on and you know, hang out with me, do a little organizing, take a drawer apart, take your closet apart, you know, have a little fun. Don't be overwhelmed. Just do one step at a time, make small goals and you'll be able to get it done. You don't have to do it all in one day. It's not the end of the world. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.